Hi, everyone. Thanks for coming. Um, my name is Stacey Dodson. I'm the Scientific Strategy Manager for the Gladstone UCSF Institute of Genomic Immunology. Um, and we're very excited to be hosting today's symposium to give you an introduction to the work um, that our investigators have been doing and will be doing in the future. Um, and so now our Institute Director, Alex Marson, will tell you a bit more about what we've been working on. Good morning, everyone. It's really a pleasure to welcome you. This is an exciting moment as we really sort of launch into the next chapter of this Gladstone ECSF Institute of Genomic Immunology. Um, we hosted you a year ago and highlighted uh, new leaders in the field from around the world. Today, we wanna to do something different. We wanna introduce you to the team that we're building to continue to show you where we think the field of genomic immunology is heading and hopefully to spark lots of opportunities to collaborate with, with many of you. Uh, the Gladstone UCSF Institute of Genomic Immunology is a true and special partnership between two amazing institutions. The Gladstone Institute, which is a private research institute that sits on the Mission Bay campus right next to UCSF, um, and UCSF, which uh, is home to an incredible uh, research and clinical enterprise. And these two institutes have come together really inspired by the opportunities that are emerging at the intersection of genomics and immunology and immunotherapy. Now we have really a, an unprecedented suite of technologies that allow us to peer inside of human cells and understand how the DNA sequences in each cell, the genome of that cell, acts as a source code controlling the function of that cell. And we can use technologies to understand, to read those sequences, and now to actually start manipulating those sequences with genome engineering to understand those sequences and actually start rewriting them to enable a host of different uh, therapeutic opportunities. Let me continue talking about this partnership between Gladstone and UCSF, which is really trying to bring together two fields where there's rapidly advancing opportunities. One is the human immune system and the opportunity for new immunotherapies. And the other is the rapidly advancing field of genomics and genome engineering. And at the intersection, we think are a host of opportunities, not only to understand the immune system, but to start programming new immunotherapies for a really wide range of different diseases. So here's, here's the vision that we'll, you'll get a glimpse of today. Yep, we think that across diseases, cancer, autoimmunity, infections, and really other major classes of human diseases, there's an opportunity to understand the genome sequences that are controlling function and dysfunction in these disease states, and then to bring up technologies, including single cell genomics, genome engineering, functional genetic screens, and synthetic biology to understand sequences that are controlling cells in the immune system and to start reprogramming them. And we don't end there. The Institute is also built to really take, take the ideas of how we can reprogram immunotherapies and continue through preclinical models, manufacturing, process development, all the way to clinical delivery of new, new classes of immunotherapy to really push the boundaries of what's possible. So, this is an ambitious uh, goal, and the, the centerpiece of what makes this possible is really the, the people that we are recruiting into this, this collaborative effort. Um, one of the things I am most excited to tell you about today is that we now have con uh, conducted a wildly successful faculty search, and we've hired three new faculty members who you'll hear from today. Uh, Karen Pelka, it comes to us from the Broad Institute, She's now based here at the Gladstone Institutes, um, and you'll hear about her work understanding how cell-cell communications control responses to immunotherapy. Uh, Justin Iquam is a pioneer in the use of CAR T cells to advance uh, in the use of CRISPR to improve CAR T cell design, and his lab is based on the Parnassus Heights campus of, of UCSF. And Julia Carnavale, who is using functional genetics to enhance CAR T cells and is a practicing oncologist is also based at the Parnassus Heights campus. So th this, these, uh, this new talent 
complements really an amazing set of people who are already here actively engaged in a collaborative effort to advance genomic immunology, who you will also hear from today. And we, are, we benefit from a broader network of Bay Area collaborations, including Ansu, who is based at Stanford, but is, connect, is collaborating deeply with us. And you will hear from him today. Um, and beyond those core members of the genomic immunology, we really are uh, opening our doors to a wider network of affiliates, which will continue to expand. But I wanna highlight a number of people here who are already actively engaged in genomic immunology and collaborating. Uh, so there will be future opportunities to hear from, from this expanding group of amazing scientists. Um, I also really wanna highlight that in order to foster collaboration and take the, the friction away from science to make it go faster and accomplish more, we are really enabled by an amazing group of administrative uh, uh, leaders. Uh, I wanna highlight the people here who have been making all this possible as we build a new institute. Um, it, each one of these people is incredible. I want to take one special second to really highlight Stacy Dodgson, who is central in making today happen. Not only has she be, been involved in every aspect of building this institute, but she really organized uh, today and put together an amazing uh, lineup of speakers. Um, I would also want to emphasize that this is only possible because of a lot of infrastructure that already exists here in the Bay Area. We are, this, this is really a Bay Area effort to advance genomic immunology that benefits from many, many partners here in the Bay Area. Uh, I've highlighted a number of them here. And in particular, I really wanna highlight the Living Therapeutics Initiative. UCSF has really made an, an institutional mandate to advance innovative cellular therapies through a uh, ambitious Living Therapeutics Initiative and we are working intimately to take discoveries made in the Genomic Immunology Institute and partner with the Living Therapeutics Initiative to advance things all the way to clinical trials, hopefully to, to really make a difference in the lives of patients here at UCSF and around the world. And uh, let me just end with a few major, major thank yous. This is, this is really only possible because of this um, this leap of faith and this partnership between Gladstone and UCSF. So I really wanna thank the leadership of both institutions broadly and very specifically the vision of Sam Hogga, the chancellor of UCSF and Deepak, the president, Deepak Srivastava, the president of Gladstone who have really partnered to make all of this possible. And before uh, handing this over to the, to the speakers and, and launching into the science, I also wanna just add a few more uh, thank yous. I wanna thank the Gladstone communications and events team uh, who have really put in a, a lot of work to make this a, a great day. I particularly want to thank Lisa. Um, and I want to thank our keynote speaker, Carl June, who uh, is a hero to many of us who will be speaking uh, this afternoon. And finally, uh, thank all of you for attending and for joining us uh, as we embark on this uh, ambitious adventure to advance genomic immunology to understand the immune system and to develop new immunotherapies.